Hello folks, this is uh, 2024 May June paper 1 1 and the question number is 16. The question is concerned with the chapter, let us say, mm, vectors because it's simply deal with the resultant here. It says uh, the diagram shows the dimensions of an elastic cord, elastic cord to project a stone, project a stone here. So this is the stone. The tension in the cord is T, T, T when the cord is pulled into the shape zone so the cord should have been somewhat like this in the beginning we pull it like this pull it like this so that's why the stocks is like this which force does the elastic cord ex exert on the stone so the force along this direction is t along this direction is t and now we have to find the resultant force on this stone so it will definitely be acting somewhat like this so here t and t are equal T and T are equal. So that's why what we can uh, uh, simply safely state that the resultant force will be in this direction. Exactly in between them. Exactly in between the resultant should be in this direction. Now, that requires angle. So first let us find this angle. Let us find this angle. Let us find this angle. So for that, let me do this as half. This is 16 centimeter. It's a half will be, this half will be 8 centimeter. And this half also be equal to 8 centimeter. Now we have the triangle here. We have this triangle. We have this triangle. And this triangle, this is 8, 10, 6. 8, 10, 6. Now the angle theta here will be equal to, equal to, sine of theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. So it's equal to 8 by 10. So this gives us theta is equal to sine inverse. 8 by 10 and this will be equal to if I do it in the calculator it will be equal to so theta is equal to uh, shift the sign inverse um, 8 by 10 is 0.8 so 0.8 like this so the angle is 53.1 degree 53.1 degree so this angle is 53 3.1 degree and this angle is also 53.1 degree now now the component of this t along this direction this direction is t cos theta because the component at the direction of the angle is cos theta so the component here is one component is a t cos theta because of this force and because of this force also the component is again another additional t cos theta so that means the total force here will be equal to total resultant let us say force resultant should be equal to t cos of theta plus again t cos of theta so this should be equal to 2t cos of theta so equal to 2t is 2t cos of we have this angle 53.1 degrees so this will give us so uh, it should be equal to so cos 53.1 equal to this much so into uh, 2 is this much, so it is 1.20, 1.20 into t. So, if I go to choices, so this is 3 by 5, 3 by 5 is uh, 0 0.6 t, 6 by 5 is 1.20 t, yes, 8 by 5 is somehow to 1.6 t, this is 2 t, so this uh, b should be the correct choice, because this is equal to 1.20 t.